So this is Darth the Brompton, ready for the uh, Cape Town cycle tour next week. Um, I've just uh, taken a few minutes to uh, slime the tires. Um, so uh, Darth has some slime in the tires and one of the reasons is if you get a puncture on a Brompton, particularly on the back wheel, it is incredibly difficult to, to fix, particularly if you're doing a, a ride. But uh, Doris will be, uh, I mean, Darth will be out with me on the uh, Cape Town cycle tour again next week, 109 kilometers around the coast. I'm starting at around 8 a.m. and uh, I've managed to get the, the gears working, uh, all six gears, front and back. Uh, for the last uh, two years, I think I only rode with three gears. I, my uh, rear derailleur was stuck, but uh, I've managed to get that uh, oiled and freed, and uh, it seems to be working well. So uh, yeah, I've just oiled the chain, checked the brakes, pumped the tires, uh, put some slime in, checked the saddle, and uh, Darth looks great for a 109-kilometer ride. So let me tell you a little bit about uh, this bike. So this is a 2011 uh, M6L Brompton. So the M uh, stands for these handlebars, so M-type bar, you get a flat bar which is an S-type and then you get uh, the P-type which is that funny round type, it's a six. So three gears uh, in the hub, that's back here. Um, you can see this is not a Sturmey Archer hub like on uh, Doris, this is actually a Brompton hub. And uh, the nice thing about these Brompton hubs, unlike the, uh, the older Sturmey Archer hubs, is you can actually change gears while you're pedaling. Whereas on Doris, the old uh, 2000 model, you can't change gears while you're pedaling. You have to back pedal in order to change, but this one you can actually change gears. So uh, the hardest third gear, the middle gear, and the easiest gear. And then we also have here on the back, Two cogs, I don't know if you can see them there, maybe better from this side. Uh, two rear cogs, so that gives you a total of six gears. You can see I've got my SPD clipless pedals on there. Uh, that's what uh, I ride with normally on my mountain bike. So <laughs> it allows me to ride with my mountain bike shoes, which are very comfortable. Uh, I normally put my Garmin uh, E705, it's an old Garmin on there just so that I can keep an eye on my distance although nowadays I don't have my Apple watch on but nowadays I uh, I do my distance and everything on my Apple watch I have the Brompton um, marathon tires uh, they pump to 6.8 bars although I never pump them quite that high I normally put them between somewhere between four and five which seems fine to me I'm worried about worried about splitting these rims uh, yeah this one looks like it's already developing a little bit of a split here so uh, that's something that one has to watch out for and uh, I've got my front luggage rack although I don't take luggage on the Argus what I normally do with a Cape Town cycle tour is I take uh, the Brompton cover bag from Doris the Brompton and I fit it here with a water bottle so the cover bag in there with a water bottle got my Brooks uh, B17 black leather saddle a nice little uh, saddle bag that has uh, a, a puncture repair kit and a few uh, spoons to take tires off if I need to I normally take a spare tire with me in here and um, yeah that's about it pump on the back these uh, Bromptons uh, this one's a 2011 they started coming with a pump on the back although I've never used it I normally use uh, a foot pump and then of course a bell so uh, that is Darth, uh, the Black Brompton, and uh, I've done a few uh, Cape Town cycle tours on it and I'm looking forward to next week, 109 kilometers around the coast. Uh, if you're interested, I'll put a link to a previous video I made, I think it was last year, I normally wear a suit, not a suit and a tie, but a shirt and a tie just to look decent for the ride. So thanks for watching, uh, you can check up on my ride at Digital Dion on Instagram or Twitter, DionFoster.com, my website, uh, or YouTube, Dion Foster. So, thanks for watching.